Hey, in this video, I want to explain the Tour Visual Elements project to you. This project gives you infinite combinations and can mainly be used for backdroppers, video projections, big monitors of concerts, live visuals, music festivals, and many more. Now let's drag and drop one of the mp4 files onto our project panel in After Effects and then drop it into a new comp. These files usually don't have any glows or effects, but we can add two effects such as glow and noise to make them look cool. I will search for glow in the effects and presets panel and then I will play with the glow settings to make the video more attractive. In big monitors, if the shapes have a glow effect on them, they will catch the eyes even more. Ok, let's bring another element into the project. Double click and choose one of the rendered mp4 files and import it. Then I will place it on top of the other layer and change its blending mode to add. You can also change it to lighten or try different modes. Let's try another item too. I will choose one and drop it into a new comp and import another file and place it above the other layer and change its blending mode to add. As you can see, the project is very simple, so I want to give it some cool effects. And to do so, I will right click and add an adjustment layer to it. In the effect controls panel, I will give some noise and glow to the whole project. I will place the noise below the glow setting and for it to be more effective. Now let's add Gaussian Blur. I want the blur effect to take place around the project, therefore I will create a mask layer and in Gaussian Blur I will attribute it to the mask layer and change its settings by clicking on this plus button. Great, now I will invert the masking effect, edit it and add some feather. Let's add light to the project. I will first create a white colored shape and rename its layer to light and place it above the layer. Then I will decrease its opacity and in the effects and presets panel I will give it the fast box blur effect. Now this really looks awesome. I will now click on the adjustment layer and in the effects and presets panel I will give it the CC radial fast blur effect and decrease its opacity. Let's create a new Full HD comp and add the elements to the footage. I have imported footage in After Effects and now I will drag and drop it into my comp. Then I will double click and import a new item and place it above the video footage layer and change its blending mode to Add. For the effects to look better and the elements color to be preserved, I will duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D or Command D for Mac users. Placing it above the video layer and giving the video layer Luma inverted matte. 
To make the video project cooler, I will again duplicate the elements layer and change its blending mode to screen. Now let's give the After Effects files a look and check their settings in the next step. This project is very easy to use and work with. I will open another one. This one has a glow effect and you can turn it on or off. It also gives you the ability to simply customize the colors of the shades and the glow. You can customize the video elements colors with the tint effect in the effects and presets panel and edit its glow effect. Now I will copy and paste the adjustment layer of this project and paste it onto this project to give it some texture. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get the super dope, super awesome pack by just clicking on the link below. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us and hit the notification bell for more videos and tutorials.